Hello guys, the DB Grinder here, back at it again with another video, and this time we have Elementals TCG Earth with 1,341 rating versus Leviathan with 1,149 rating, so it's going to be another high rated DB video, and hopping right in, we will go ahead and we will see uh, Elementals win the Rocky vs. Shoot, and they'll go first, 40 versus 41, opening hands, we have Bell, Terraforming, Fenrir, Birth, Unicorn, they have Snake Eye Ash, Moonlit, Bell, Oak, Black Witch, okay, so both of these players have decided that Bell is a main deck option for them. Uh, they're going to go Terraforming, go search out Pressured Planet, and then activate Pressured Planet to go search for Kashtira Rise Heart. Uh, special Summon out Unicorn. Unicorn. Uh, I mean, okay, yeah, they're going to Moonlit it on Summon. Okay, so yeah, no effect. Uh, now just normal Summon out Bell. Make Baron. Lose 25. Birth effect. And then they Bell that. So now... I mean, I was gonna say, they probably Baron that, otherwise, all they're gonna have next turn is Baron, since they already normal summon, they can't bring out Fenrir or anything. Uh, so they're gonna summon Unicorn, Unicorn effect, grab Theosis, Theosis goes summon out Fenrir, and then Fenrir effect, search out Scareclaw, Kashtira, okay. Uh, activate Kashtira, Rise Heart, summon out, and then effect, go banish Birth, make them banish three face down, make Shang. Yup, and then let's see, we hit original Sinful Spoils there, that's huge, if that's a one-of, and then Kieran's gone, which uh, most likely it's a one-of, especially because it's the Fire King build. Um, but now they're gonna go ahead, pass, they draw into Valor. Okay, so stand buff is, Shang, summon out Unicorn, so we have Pressured Planet Pop, we have Unicorn Rip, Fenrir, Banish, Birth. Uh, Baron's already used, so get rid of Snake Eye Ash, summon out Black Witch, Black Witch effect, go set Wanted, and then they're gonna go Unicorn, Fenrir, uh, you don't have to Fenrir this, yeah, we didn't have to Fenrir, that actually, I don't, I don't think using both of these was correct, aren't you only supposed to use one of them, cause now you have to use your Shang Pop now, unless if you don't want to, I mean, yeah, cause like the opponent decides whenever Birth will trigger, yeah, I don't, I don't, I don't know if I like using both of those there. They're gonna banish World Sea Black Witch. Like you definitely didn't have to use Fenrir. We have a boost. Um, but okay, now we're gonna go ahead, Shang to lock, and then there's gonna go Oak in the Ash, and then Ash effect. Search out Poplar, and then summon out Poplar. Then they can go Poplar effect to go search. Okay, grab out Divine Temple. And then they can activate Divine Temple now before they have three spells in Grave. Um, okay, they're going to go Poplar. Oh, not three spells in Grave, but three cards in Grave. Link Karibo, Poplar, Spell, and Trap Zone itself. Now activate Divine Temple to go ahead and spell Trap Zone. These Snake Eye Ash. Now stay, Snake Eye Ash on itself plus Poplar. Summon out Flame Birch. Okay. Uh, I said think here. Link off into a SP. Then they're going to go Flame Birch, SP. So Banish Birth. Summon back out two from the graveyard. Okay. Uh, now SP plus Poplar to make Princess. Princess effect. Summon back out Flame Bird from the graveyard. Said, I have a ruling question. Let me check first. If I spell trap your zone, your Baron, can I activate it in my turn? They said, no. That's incorrect. You can do it. Uh, they said, it's, uh, it's always the same copy face up. That's not true. It is a different monster if it's summoned. They said, yes, I can. They said, okay with that ruling. And they said, okay. Okay. So... Now they're going to go Flame Bird, Spawn Trap, Zone the Baron, and then they said 27 Defense, yup, okay, so make Whale, Battle Phase, Beat Over Fenrir, Beat Over Unicorn, you know, there's tons of links in the graveyard there, so it's getting at 600, uh, so Beat Over, and then now they're going to go Main Phase 2, uh, and then Pass Turn, okay, so they have Princess, they have Flame Bird, and the Baron, they draw birth. They know that they have Scareclaw Cash Tira in hand. That can banish Theosis and get back to birth. Uh, so they're going to go draw phase, Flame Bird Summon Baron, Standby phase, Shang effect. They said okay. Uh, oh, okay. So let's them go bring out Unicorn. Doesn't activate Pressured Point at the pop there. Uh, so now on that summon, they're going to go Princess to pop the Unicorn. Okay. Now they're going to go activate Scareclaw Cash Tira. Banish Theosis, summon out, and then Theosis effect to grab back birth. And they said, think on that. They're going to Baron stop the Theosis add back. Uh, okay. 
Okay. Wouldn't you rather have birth in their graveyard? Uh, I guess. I guess if you're just gonna negate the activation of birth, then it's like almost the same thing there. Uh, cause if you want to try to stop the effect, that could be a little bit risky because it could play into like a Fenrir or something in the hand. Uh, birth summon out Fenrir and then Fenrir effect. They're gonna Valor that. Okay, now normal summon out Fenrir. Battle phase, attack princess, effect, banish flame burge. And then, yup, that goes through. Let's see, one, two. Uh, wait, one, two, three. Where, wait, am I counting this wrong? Fire, wind, earth. That's it. Shouldn't that be a crash? Wind, fire, earth. Yeah, okay, I was just making sure I wasn't tripping. Yeah, it only looks like three attributes to me. Unless if I'm just somehow messing that up. Uh, summon out, effect, go search, grab out Ponix. Okay, and then they're gonna go Fenrir effect. Yeah, I mean, you can't for a couple of reasons. Sorry, I mean, it's Negata. They already used Fenrir on Flame Burge's turn. They're gonna go Big Eye, Big Eye effect, take Baron, Baron to pop. The Snake Eye Ash. Then they're gonna go Ponix Special Summon out. Ponix Effect Go Search. Grab out Sanctuary. And then try to pass. They're gonna go Wanted. Grab out Black Witch. And like, you know, they just. Uh, I don't know. I don't know. They didn't Shang Lock. They didn't Pressured Planet Pop at all this turn. I don't like how they played it. They activate Wanted during end phase. Well, at least now they can do it. Uh. Bro, this pl what are you doing? You can't play this bad against this good of a deck. You could have went Birth Banish, and then they could have went Shang Lock another zone, Pressure Planet go pop. Now they're gonna go Standby Fish, Shang, bring out Fenrir, Pressure Planet go pop. Okay, pops Divine Temple, but they said. Uh, think on if Princess Chain Link 1. Okay, so yeah, they're gonna go Princess Chain Link 1 to pop the Ponix and a Fenrir there. And then they're gonna go Pressured Planet to pop Divine Temple, uh, Chain Link Karibo. So that way they just get like a free body there pretty much. And then new Chain Link. They're gonna go Fenrir to go Banish Whale face down. And then Shang Effect to pass over, you know, an unusable zone. We have Baron that can tag out in the Unicorn here. Yeah, go ahead. Put back, bring out Unicorn, sure. And then, I mean, even last turn, they could have put this in attack, took damage, put Zeus over Big Eye. I don't, I don't think that would have been worth it, though, just because we would have been really low. Uh, but now, they're going to go Princess plus Link Karibo to make a Hida. They don't have any target in the graveyard currently. Okay, activate Sanctuary, and then activate Island. They're going to go activate Birth, Banish Princess, Link Karibo, Ponix, and the opponent admits defeat. Okay, so on to game number two now. We're going to see Leviathan go first. We have Pressure Planet, Theosis, Pressure Planet, Scareclaw, Catch Tira, Lightning Storm. They have Imperm, Poplarg, Runix, Kieran, and Nib. So we don't have any hand traps on this side. They're going to go Normal Out, Poplar, Effect, go grab out Original, and then make Link Karibo, Poplar, Spell and Trap Zone itself. Original send, go bring out Oak, and then they're gonna go Oak effect, summon back out the Poplar, and then Oak send itself plus the Link Karibo to bring out Flame Burge. Okay. Uh, now they're gonna go Link Karibo, and then use those to make SP, so that way they can SP effect to play around Bell. Uh, okay. I don't know. This. Seems kind of weird. Okay, so they're going to banish Link Karibo, summon back out Poplar Oak, and then make Princess, Princess, summon out Flame Burge, Flame Burge, go bring out SP, and then they're going to make a Whale, set Imperm Pass. Okay, so I just want to talk about some things that potentially could have been done differently there, is maybe we bring out Snake Eye Ash, and then Snake Eye Ash grab Ponix, and then we could go like Kieran, Pop Garunix, summon out, Ponix effect, summon itself from hand, grab Sanctuary, Island, then you have Sanctuary as a free send for your Snake Eye Ash to get access to Oak. So then you have like the same Snake Eye stuff set up pretty much. While also setting up Fire King stuff. 
Uh, but okay, they draw a unicorn. So they're going to go lightning storm, calling monsters onto whale and flame birds. They can just go chain flame birds to summon out SP. Okay. Uh, sure. I mean, they could have brought out SP and then whale dies and then whale summons back out SP. Uh, but now they're going to go new chain link, flame birds, Garunix, uh, summon out three. And then new chain link, poplar, Garunix. Uh, go grab the Divine Temple, go destroy Arvata from the deck, then they said, you're good. Uh, activate Pressured Planet, go grab out Fenrir, and then Special Summon out Fenrir. Uh, they're going to go Princess to Pop, Bring Out, and then Poplar Effect, Spawn Trap Zone, Flame Bird, Special Summon out Unicorn now, and then Activate Unicorn Effect, Chain Imperm, Activate Theosis, go bring out Fenrir. It probably would have been smarter just to imperm the Fenrir and then princess the next thing. Uh, yeah, maybe. Or maybe, ah, maybe not. Because I guess this beats birth technically. Because you can go Kieran pop princess and then whale pop. Uh, but now they're going to go summon out Fenrir. Uh, they're going to go Kieran. Uh, sure. Why did they do that in response to Theosis before Fenrir was actually established? Uh, okay, so they're not even going to activate Fenrir to banish there. Scareclaw, banish, special summon out. Okay. Uh, overlay. They are locked in the XYZs this turn. They're going to make Harmonizer, Harmonizer effect. Go ahead, take the princess. Well, yeah, I'll try to attach it, but then they're going to chain rock. So, pass over token. And then that's just game. Yeah, so they admit defeat. On to game number two, or game number three now. We're going to go ahead and see Catch Tira go first. Unicorn, Summon Limit, Shifter, Pot of Prosperity, Rise Heart. They have Moonlit, Pot of Prosperity, Wanted, Nib, and Talent. So, hopefully, they don't play in the rock. Activate Pot of Prosperity. Go ahead, Banish. And then change shifter, and then go ahead, look at the top six. So that will go ahead, reveal, uh, I guess, Theosis. Yeah, yeah, Theosis. Yep, grab Theosis, then put the rest back to the bottom of the deck there. Okay. And then we can go special summon out Unicorn. So what'd you add? Yeah, they added Theosis. So I think if they want to Moonlit that, they do Moonlit that. And now we're going to go activate Cash Tier at Rise Heart. Special Summon Out effect. That can go Banish like Birth. Yeah, I was going to say probably Birth because we can activate Theosis to go Summon. And then Theosis add back Birth because we're under Shifter. They Banish Snake Eye Ash, Poplar, and a Black Witch. And then activate Theosis. Go Summon Out Fenrir. And then Theosis effect. Add back Birth. Then we have Fenrir effect to go Search. Uh, they're going to go grab out Fenrir from the Ducks in the Hand. And then Overlay, make Shang, set Summon Limit, pass. They draw one for one. Standby Fish, Shang goes Summon out Unicorn. Uh, yup, go ahead, bring that out. And then activate Pot of Prosperity. Also, I like how they thought there for a second. Because uh, that maybe would make the opponent think that you have a Impermanent Hand. Which could potentially make them want to go for a second Fenrir instead of a Unicorn. So, you know, little things like that uh, are good. But they're going to Prosperity for 6. And then play Lina in their extra deck. Okay. Uh, and then looking at the top 6. Okay. Obviously not pro. Oh, also, just realized, why are they even playing Prosperity in this deck? I mean, people were playing this, like, originally, and then they realized, like, it was bad. But... Oh, God. I just don't see how... I guess they have talents. The summon one is going to hurt so much, too. It's going to hurt so much. They're going to grab Snake Eye Ash and then go put back. Yeah, I mean, I guess you just have to, right? Because Wanta doesn't work. One for one doesn't work. So you need something that can actually force. Uh, they could have Shang locked there, but then they start playing in the talents, which they don't have to at all this turn. Uh, go Snake Eye Ash. And then... Actually, you very well could just play in the Talents. All they're going to do is Talents take Fenrir. But I guess you don't even want that to happen. But it looks like they don't care. Okay, so they're going to go ahead, play into it there. Banish Princess. Banish Snake Eye Ash. They summon out Poplar. Effect. Chain Summon Limit. They don't even Shang Lock. Uh, so now they're going to go activate Talents take. 
take Fenrir, switch to attack, attack in the Shing effect, banish summon limit face down, because, you know, we decided that, you know, we wanted to get rid of Snake Eye Ash, it was a big deal, uh, we, we accepted that talents would then become MST, yeah, I don't know why they'd play into it there, there's like no need, uh, now they're gonna go ahead, link off in the link Karibo, then SP, SP effect, go banish Unicorn, Set Wanted, Pass, they draw Imperm, Standby Phase, they're going to go Shang Effect, which they are going to let go through. I mean, they do have Rock in hand. Uh, once again, they just kind of hope the opponent plays into that. Activate Birth, Unicorn Effect, go search out the Osus. Normal Summon out Fenrir, and then they can go Fenrir Effect, grab out Scareclaw, Kashira, Battle Phase, Fenrir Attack, yeah, just simply beat over, no effect. Unicorn Attack, Effect, go ahead and rip. And then, yeah, they've lost so much of their extra deck at this point. It's crazy, because they prosperityed for six, and they got hit with Unicorn for two. So, their extra deck is definitely hurting. And they made a Link Karibo and an SP. Uh, now they're going to go Shang Lock, main phase two, set Imperm. End phase, they're going to go Wanted, grab out Black Witch, and then pass, draw Ash Blossom, Shang Effect to go summon, bring out Fenrir. And then main phase, special out Black Witch by discarding Rock, Effect, the Imperm, and then they're going to go Fenrir, Unicorn, I'll uh, go ahead hit Dark Charmer, uh, okay, and then they're going to go ahead, uh, pass over Locked, one for one, discard, they're going to get hit with Birth, uh, bring out Snake Eye Ash, and then Snake Eye Ash, Chain Link 1, Chain Link 2, Birth, go ahead Lock, they will not lock, but banish, and then they're going to search out Poplar. Oh, they don't search Poplar? Oh, I guess, wait, didn't they actually, yeah, they actually went through two Poplar, because one got banished off Rise. So they're going to go search Ponix, and then they're going to go Shang Effect to go lock. Yeah, I mean, original Sun Snake Eye Ash, bring out Ponix from hand, and then Ponix Effect, go for Island, Island Effect, destroy Ponix, and then, yeah, they just submit defeat. Uh, yeah, I mean... I don't know, I don't think that, I think like they played it like okay that game, uh, there wasn't really too much that they could do against what the opponent had, I mean, you know, engine plus summon limit and shifter is like, you know, what you want if you play cash and you go first, that's like perfect, but, I don't know, cash still misplayed and gave the opponent an opportunity, I don't know, it was, it was just kind of an awkward game overall. But, uh, they are playing the Heat Soul package in their deck, but they don't banish a lot of it, which also makes me think that they play the Appalooza stuff in their extra deck, uh, so that way they can, like, deviate into that and not just go for Heat Soul, which is why they left, like, the Link Spider, the G-Gon, the Appalooza and stuff, but, okay, with all that being said, the DB Grinder signing off, peace, have a nice day, stay safe.